Hi everybody, this is Joanne, and 10 years ago the Human Genome Project was completed. So, now that the, the ground has been broken and we have sequences and this has been completely done, it has now been repeated several times. And it's not costing the $2 billion that it cost in the first place. Is The price is going lower and lower and lower to the point where we may reach that the human genome will be sequenced in just a few days for just a thousand dollars and for right now it's a couple weeks and maybe ten uh, to twenty thousand dollars to get this completed so uh, I have two books today oh actually there's a lot of books about the human genome out there but I will talk today just about two books that have come out recently that specifically approach the question of personalized genomics so now that we can sequence a full genome, should you get your genome sequenced? Should I get my genome sequenced? Will all of our children in the future have their genome sequenced just like they do when they go get the prick on their heel when they are born to test for certain genetic diseases? Will we now actually be looking at sequencing their entire genome to look at their risks for certain diseases um, and certain temperaments even in the future? So these are important questions to ask, and both of these books do ask these questions. The first book is written by science writer Ken Davies, who has a website called BioIT World. This is a great place to go if you want to know maybe where to invest your future biotech money, uh, because he knows a lot about up-and-coming technologies. And he does discuss that in the book called The $1,000 Genome, The Revolution in DNA Sequencing and the New Era of Personalized Medicine. So this book takes a look at the history of the Human Genome Project and the new technologies that have come along to help us do the sequencing even faster and cheaper. He personally visits several direct-to-consumer companies uh, to have certain parts of his genome sequenced. So these direct-to-consumer companies do not sequence the entire genome. They merely take a look at certain markers to see if you have a susceptibility to certain diseases or other traits uh, it might tell about you. So this book, it was a good overview of the entire area. Um, George Church has begun a project called the Personal Genome Project because he believed we can't do a lot with just two human genomes. There's enough variability that perhaps it would be helpful to scientists to have more human genomes in the public record for use for further research. So with a large number of celebrities and scientists having their genome sequenced, Personal Genome Project subject number four, Nisha Angris, decided to document his journey to have his personal genome sequenced with George Church's project. And so he has come up with the book called Here is a Human Being at the Dawn of Personal Genomics. And this, Misha has a blog called Genome Boy, and he's also a professor at Duke University. And he joined the project after much consideration and a lot of wondering about what uh, does he need to consider? What will happen if he loses insurance if they should find something uh, that they don't want to cover? What, what happens if your employer actually makes you get your genome sequence? Of course, he went on his own. Um, what implications does this have for the family? And again, this book looks at the history of the Human Genome Project, looks at the DNA sequencing technologies, looks at direct-to-consumer uh, companies that will sequence portions of your genome for a price. But this one does everything else from the perspective of being a personal genome project subject. So I actually enjoyed both of these books. Uh, the project is so huge and vast and expansive, and the technologies are so interesting that it was definitely worth learning about them twice, essentially. So you can pick up either of these books and learn um, different things, but it just depends on which perspective you would like to hear it from. And I will have a list under this video of other great books on genomics and the Human Genome Project. Thank you so much for listening.